YouTube, Niner Empire, what is going down? Welcome back to another video. 24 hours away from Super Bowl 58 kicking off. And man, is it really starting to kind of sink in at this point. Um, it, it's kind of weird because I remember back in 2020 when we were obviously preparing to play the Chiefs in, in Super Bowl 54, I believe that was. Um, you know, there, there's so much media throughout the week. It, it really doesn't hit you that your team's in the Super Bowl until like a couple days prior. And I think it really started to sink in uh, just this past Thursday, just knowing that, you know, we were three days away from from kickoff. And um, yeah, man, I mean, it's really starting to sink in with me uh, more than it has, you know, over the past couple of weeks. I know Obviously, you win the NFC Championship, you know, you kind of let that sink in for, for, you know, three days, and then, you know, that's when, obviously, you know, that that next week, you know, the teams fly out to, uh, to you know, wherever the Super Bowl is being played. In this case, it's Vegas, of course, um, but, you know, it's, and then you have Super Bowl opening night, and you got to get through all of that, and there's, there's so much media coverage and, you know, the whole nine yards, but... As far as like, you know, it really starting to sink in, I think right now um, and, and over the past couple of days, it's really kind of hitting me that like, okay, like we're here about to play the Chiefs, you know, for all the glory to win the Super Bowl. It's going to be electric, man. It's going to be fireworks. Um, but obviously, as I did, you know, the previous 14, 15 weeks, um, obviously previewing this Super Bowl game and, and, and obviously giving you guys my predictions, giving you guys in what I think are keys to win uh, this game against the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, but man, I mean, again, it's going it's going to be a battle. Um, this is two of the best teams in the NFL going head to head. Obviously, Kansas City got the best of us in 2020. But this is a this is a different Niners team. This is a better Niners team. Um, you could argue that it is a better Chiefs team. I don't think so. I think their defense is playing better. Their defense might be a little better. But the Chiefs have gotten weaker um, team-wise, roster-wise, since you know the last time they played the Niners. And I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not saying that in a malice intent. I just know that like roster-wise, the Niners have gotten better. The Chiefs haven't. You could argue that the Chiefs have gotten worse roster-wise, but at the end of the day, they have Patrick Mahomes, and as long as they have Patrick Mahomes, I think everybody knows that they are going. You know, they're going to be in the thick of things um, later on in the year throughout the playoffs, and and you know, I mean, look, they're they're probably weaker. They're, they are weaker than they were four years ago, but they're in the Super Bowl, so that stuff really doesn't matter because they have you know Patrick Mahomes. Um, and, and obviously, you know, seeing what he's been able to do over the past couple seasons and widely regarded as one of the greatest quarterbacks ever already. Um, so it's going to be a tough task for the Niners to overcome, of course. It's going to be a tough task for the Kansas City Chiefs as well. Uh, but as far as keys to win, I'm going to start it off right here. The Niners have to stop the run tomorrow. You know, the Niners defense run-wise ranks second to last in the playoffs, uh, they've conceded an average of 159 rush yards per game. Uh, the Chiefs are fifth in rushing yards. They're averaging 127, 128 a game. And obviously, Isaiah Pacheco has rushed for 254 yards, averaging four yards per carry and three touchdowns during the playoffs. Chiefs run the football very well. They have a very great running back in Isaiah Pacheco, and that's going to be... It, it, he's going to be tough to stop, but I think the Niners going into this game know that the number one thing they're going to have to do is limit Pacheco, make Mahomes throw the ball. And I get, you know, the Niners, Mahomes throwing the ball is just as dangerous and it's kind of like a lose-lose situation. Call me crazy, but the Niners will have more success Patrick, with Patrick Mahomes passing the ball than they will with Isaiah Pacheco running the ball. If the 49ers limit Pacheco and, and in a way stop him and limit him, they're going to have a lot of success on defense with Mahomes throwing the ball. Call me crazy, but that's literally 
it, it's it's been said all week long. The Niners' key going into this game: stop the freaking run, limit Isaiah Pacheco. That's going to be huge during this game. They the, the Niners' edge rushers, Bosa, Chase Young, those guys must contain the edges. They can't allow running backs to get outside. The Chiefs are going to try to run up the middle and take advantage of this you know, rather weak 49ers run defense over the past couple weeks. But number one's got to be stopping the run and limiting these explosive plays on the ground, forcing Patrick Mahomes to be one-dimensional. If the Niners can do that, they will have success, and that's easier said than done. They struggled in the divisional round against Green Bay when it came to Aaron Jones running the football. They struggled against the Detroit Lions, with, you know, Jamison Williams and, and David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs, like those guys ran all over the 49ers defense. If the Niners want to have success on defense, it starts with setting the edge, containing Isaiah Pacheco, and stopping the run. You're not going to completely shut the run game down, but if this 49ers defense can wake up tomorrow and actually play the run well and make Mahomes one-dimensional, that's going to be a massive key in winning this football game. Um... So yeah, without a doubt, stopping the run is, is number one. Number two, they have to double Travis Kelsey tomorrow. I think they will, but Travis Kelsey has been insane during the playoffs. He's caught 23 passes on 27 targets for 262 yards and three total touchdowns, making him, obviously, when, when it comes to Kelsey, it, it, you know he is Patrick Mahomes' number one target. The 49ers defense must find a way to use their best option on Kelsey and limit him to any yards after the catch. They have to keep everything underneath with Travis Kelsey tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised if this assignment goes to veteran safety to Sean Gibson and Dre Greenlaw tomorrow. Uh, but the Niners must find a way to limit him and force Mahomes to throw the ball to his second option, which is probably going to be Rashi Rice. They just have to force another player on the Chiefs to make plays. Rashi Rice cannot do... He, he can't beat the 49ers all game. He's not that talented. I have nothing but respect for Rashi Rice. But Rashi Rice cannot take a football game over. He can't do that. Nobody else on the Chiefs besides Pacheco and Kelsey can take this game over. That's literally the only two big-time weapons they have on this offense. Is Rashi Rice a weapon? Is he, you know, has he been good throughout the playoffs? Absolutely, but he will not beat Charvarius Ward or Diamador Lenore all freaking game long. If they force Mahomes to give the ball to somebody else, not named Isaiah Pacheco and Travis Kelsey, the 49ers will have major success defensively, um, and you know it, it's going to be huge when it comes to them potentially forcing turnovers, them getting into third and long situations. Like, these keys right here, stopping the run and doubling Travis Kelsey, these, both of these should should already be what the 49ers have been planning on doing. Like, there's no reason for you not to double uh, Travis Kelsey tomorrow or anything like that. So I think that's going to be key. I think, without a doubt, if they stop the run and if they can double Kelsey they're going to have success because that's going to force Patrick Mahomes to go to his second option. And, he, you know, the Niners all in all need to have somebody not named Isaiah Pacheco and Travis Kelsey beat them. And if they can do that, the Niners will have a lot of success on defense. So doubling Kelsey, stopping the run, first two keys to win this game tomorrow. Now, I think this one is pretty cliche to say because a lot of people have been using it, but there's a reason a lot of people have been saying this is one of the major keys for the Niners to win this game tomorrow, and that is running the football. They need to run Christian McCaffrey 25-plus times tomorrow. It doesn't matter how the Niners run the ball. I think Kyle Shanahan knows that the Chiefs have a very weak zone run defense. They rank... 31st in the NFL against outside zone runs. The 49ers are one of the NFL's best outside zone run offenses. They can utilize Christian McCaffrey and both Elijah Mitchell in the outside zone in a mix of a little power run scheme up the middle with Jordan Mason all game long. If they can do this, they will have a lot of success. That is the weakest part of the Chiefs defense, running the football. What is one of the more 
premier strengths of this 49ers offense this year. It's been Christian McCaffrey in this run game. Take advantage of the outside run. Mix it up with a little zone power runs up the middle. They can have a lot of success in doing so. Now, running this ball you know, only makes the 49ers offense more efficient and more dangerous because we obviously know that's going to open up the play-action pass. That's going to open up, you know, uh, Purdy to take advantage of his playmakers down the field. And he can very well have success in doing that if the Niners establish the run earlier and often and stick with it throughout the game. Um, now, I definitely think when it comes to when it comes to this zone off, like... Legereus needs one of the more premier corners in the league this season. He's a very talented player. Um, and I would imagine that when it comes to Brock Purdy throwing the ball, Brandon Ayuk could have troubles getting open and whatnot. Now, I th- still think Brandon Ayuk is going to be massive in this game tomorrow because I don't think there's... No matter who you put on Brandon Ayuk, he will beat you with his route running. Brandon Ayuk's one of the more elite route runners in the entire NFL. And I don't expect Legereus need to be locking him up all game because you can't do that with a Brandon Ayuk, a great a great route runner like he is. Um, but with running the football, you're going to open up the play action pass to hit Debo Samuel on the cross routes, to hit George Kittle on the out routes, to hit George Kittle up the middle. They have did this all year long. Why run from it? It's worked all year long. The games in which San Francisco has been bullies in, they have had success running the football, play action pass, hitting guys up the middle, hitting guys in stride. This is massive for the Niners tomorrow. Now, the problem is here, Kyle Shanahan has had a tendency in big games like this to have success in running the football, and then he runs away from it. I don't think Kyle Shanahan makes that mistake tomorrow. I think Kyle Shanahan's going to call one of his, probably his best game ever. Um, I think he knows what it takes to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. I think he knows with Christian McCaffrey that they're going to have a lot of success in running the football with the outside zone stuff. The 49ers can absolutely take control of this game with with running the, like, doing the outside run stuff. You know, j- just the run game in general. If that run game is clicking, which it will be because Kansas City is very weak against the run, which isn't good for the Kansas City Chiefs because the Niners have the best running back in football. Um, and, you know, the reigning just one offensive player, like Christian McCaffrey just won offensive player of the year. He's, he's, he's the best non-quarterback football player in the entire NFL. Christian McCaffrey needs to run the ball 20, 20 plus times tomorrow. I think he will, to be honest. I think the Niners will run the football a lot. I think it's going to open up a lot of things with play action. The Niners will have a lot of success if they run the football. And not only just run the football, they have to stick to running the football. That's going to be massive tomorrow. Um, those would be my top three keys to winning this football game. I think an honorable mention here, Brock Purdy and this defense ball security, no fumbles, no interceptions. Kansas City might force Brock Purdy to throw an interception here and there. But the point I'm trying to make is, is and, and, and the Niners defense may do the same with Patrick Mahomes. I wouldn't be shocked if, if Mahomes threw, threw a pick or two in this game. But the problem is the Niners have to capitalize on drives. They have to score the football against this Kansas City Chiefs team. If they get the ball, if the Niners are able to get to win the coin toss and get the ball first, they have to go down and put seven up on the board. They have to score points, you know, this go around. Again, there might be some turnovers. Kansas City might force turnovers. San Francisco might force turnovers. San Francisco has to have better ball security. They have to be smarter with the football tomorrow. It can't be a situation like it has been the past two weeks where they've been down going into the fourth quarter. And, you know, they're trying to come back on the Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes is a quarterback that's not going to let a team down 17, really 10-plus points come back and win the football game. Now, the Niners can easily come back from from down 7 or any, like something like that. But when it turns into a two-possession game, San Francisco will have a lot of trouble coming back on a Kansas City Chiefs team that has a, a defense that's as good as it has been this year. And with having Patrick Mahomes. 
Ball security is going to be huge in this game. Being smart with the football, uh, no fumbles. And, and on top of that, when it comes to Kansas City and their offense, if we get turnovers, we have to score seven. I don't want to be in a situation tomorrow where Kansas City is holding us out of the red zone and it's up to Jake Moody to score his points. I'm not confident in Jake Moody to go perfect on field goals tomorrow. Will he? Potentially, but there's been nothing that has shown me or, or kind of proved to me that Jake Moody can can you know keep up keep us in a game if it's a field goal type of game. Let's not settle for field goals tomorrow. Let's be aggressive. Let's score seven. I don't want Jake Moody kicking field goals more than like two or three times in this game. It can't happen. We've seen what Jake Moody's done the past couple of weeks. He misses field goals. He struggles. I get it. He's a rookie, whatever. Let's not put the game in Jake Moody's hands, please, for the love of God. I don't think I would be able to take it if, if, if it's a field goal type of game. We have to score seven points. This offense is one of the best offenses in football in scoring red zone points. Niners I'm talking about. Why change tomorrow? You're in the Super Bowl. You have to score points at all costs. You have the best offense in the National Football League. You have the best weapons in the National Football League. You have the best roster in the National Football League. This is the 49ers game to lose tomorrow. The Niners will win this game over off of their physicality, off of running the ball, and doing what they do best, getting turnovers, creating turnovers defensively. Obviously, doubling Kelsey and stopping the runs going to be the two biggest things going into tomorrow's game. I think Steve Wilkes knows that. I think Steve Wilkes is going to come prepared to double Kelsey and to stop the run tomorrow. But at the same time, man, like if something's not working tomorrow, Steve Wilkes has to make adjustments, right? Like this is the Super Bowl. You know, he did it. He did it against the Detroit Lions. They were getting killed with the run, but he comes out after, after halftime they make adjustments, and they had a lot of success defensively in that second half in the NFC Championship um, with with getting turnovers and, and I guess, in a way, slowing that Detroit Lions um, offense down. But again, man, like Pacheco has been one of the more important Chiefs players on their team all season. Pacheco will run for three to four plus yards every single carry. The Niners have to load the box. They have to absolutely stop the run tomorrow. They've invested so much into this defensive line. They've got the best linebacker tandem in football. I don't know why they've struggled so much against the run, to be completely honest. I don't know if it's because they went more of a four-down defensive line look this season, really just majority of the season. Don't be afraid to put five and six defensive linemen down. I know that's going to cause Patrick Mahomes... Patrick Mahomes looking at a, a you know a, a five or six down defensive line look, he's probably like he's probably going to to want that. He he's going to want the Niners to load the box and to you know come at him with with five and six defensive linemen and, and edge rushers. But at the end of the day, getting to Mahomes is also going to be something that's big. And I think if the Niners are stopping the run, I think they're going to be able to get to to. Um, Patrick Mahomes. I think those things kind of coincide with each other. If they're stopping the run defensively, um, there's no doubt in my mind, there's no reason as to why this Niners defensive line couldn't get home. But Patrick Mahomes is different, man. When it comes to scrambling, he's better than Lamar Jackson when it comes to scrambling out of the pocket and getting first downs. He's the most dangerous scrambler quarterback in the NFL. He will scramble and get out of sacks. So if the Niners have him in a situation where they can sack him, bring him down like we can't have this situation like four years ago where he's dancing all around in the pocket he's scrambling and then he hits you know Rashi Rice or one of their weapons downfield for a 20 plus yard gain on a gain on a third and long that cannot happen stop the run get to Patrick Mahomes bring Patrick Mahomes down I'm not gonna lie man I'm worried about this pass rush tomorrow I don't know what pass rush is going to show up Chiefs tackles are horrible. There's no reason why this Niners defensive line can't get home tomorrow. The tackles have held all season. They're also without left guard Joe Thune tomorrow. I don't I, I don't know what I'll do if this Niners defensive line can't get home. The Chiefs have a very weak offensive line. I 
that's also going to help the 49ers against the run as well. But there's no reason the Niners' defensive line can't get home tomorrow. Um, I would honestly make that like that. That's that's just an as important key to win this game as 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 probably like the ball security and stuff and 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 doubling Kelsey. Like there's there's so many keys for the Niners to win this game, but. The winner of this game, in my opinion, is going to be in the trenches. Whoever dominates the trenches better on both sides of the ball will win this game. And San Francisco can absolutely do that. They, they have like almost a half, half a billion dollar defensive line invested. They're going against a very, very weak Chiefs offensive line. There's no reason that they shouldn't be able to generate pressure and get to Mahomes and have success in stopping the run. Those are going to be my keys to win this game. If the Niners can be more physical tomorrow, which that's another thing, like have teams have struggled on. When the Niners went on their little streak coming out, coming off the bye week earlier on in the year, they had a lot of success because they were more they were the more physical team down that entire stretch, and they were winning in the trenches week in and week out. Kansas City is a physical defense. Offensively, I don't think they can match our physicality when it comes to this Niners defense. The more physical team wins the football game tomorrow, and if that's San Francisco, we're going to be hoisting our sixth Lombardi trophy, and I think we do it. I think this is the year the Niners do it. I think matchup-wise, the 49ers clear the Chiefs when it comes to matchup. I think the, the, the Niners have the much more superior team as long as they stick to what they know best in being physical doubling Kelsey, stopping the run, ball security, getting to Patrick Mahomes. Those are all major keys to win this game tomorrow. Keep Mahomes in the pocket. Get to Patrick Mahomes and bring him down. Don't just generate pressure. Mahomes is good. at he, He's still one of the best quarterbacks in the league throwing under pressure. But with Mahomes being a bit shifty in the pocket, the 49ers defense has to wrap up and tackle once they get their hands on him. There's no reason... This Niners defensive line going up against this week of a Chiefs offensive line, there, there's no reason they can't have success in winning one-on-ones and things like that. They have to dominate. I don't care if there's four down defensive line. I don't care if there's five down defensive line. You should be dominating that Chiefs offensive line tomorrow without a doubt. Again, if they do that, that's going to coincide with stopping the run and generating pressure on Mahomes and, and, and creating sacks and things like that. This Niners team roster wise and talent wise is up here and the Chiefs are down here. This 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 Chiefs team is not more talented than the Niners. The the problem is is you have Patrick Mahomes and even though their roster isn't nearly as good as it as San Francisco is, they are a very physical team. That's why they beat the, the Baltimore Ravens. They were by far the more physical team in the Baltimore game. This is probably two of the most physical teams in football matching up tomorrow. But if the Niners can 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 go in there and 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 take advantage of the three keys or, or the three or four keys I said to win this game, and, and they are the more physical team, there's no reason the Niners can't win this game. So again, I think they do it. I think tomorrow I'm coming on here on top of the world talking about how the Niners won. I, I, I hope to God I'm right. Uh, because I don't know what I'll do with another Niners Super Bowl loss, but just finish the job, man. You have the roster to do it. You have a quarterback to do it. I know Steve Spagnoli and that that Chiefs defense is probably going to want to make the Niners a one-dimensional team, and he's probably going to want to shut down the run and things of that nature. I'm sorry, but you're not shutting down the run against Christian McCaffrey. You're not going to do that, and that's fine. Make us one-dimensional. I have the utmost faith in Brock Purdy to get the job done. There's no doubt in my mind that he will slice and dice this Chiefs defense if they end up making us one-dimensional. They have the quarterback to do it. They have a better running back this year. They have Trent Williams. The Niners on paper have been, not even on paper, screw that. The Niners all in all this season, they've been the most physical team in football. Why would you want that to stop tomorrow? Be the more physical team those three, those three or four keys I said to win the game are going to be huge, man. But again, that brings me to my final score prediction here. I think the Niners do it in in a in a good fat. I think this is a pretty fairly high scoring game. I've kind of went back and forth with my score prediction. Um, it's going to be a tough game. I think Brock Purdy has a phenomenal game. I think this is the game, Brock Purdy. 
I think this is the game that Brock Purdy absolutely goes off, and it's in the biggest game of his life. I think this is the game where people start to shut their mouths about their opinions on Brock Purdy, about him being a game manager and this and that. I think Brock Purdy makes enough plays in this game to get the Niners over the hump. I'm talking probably 250-plus pass yards, a pair of touchdowns to go along with that. Give me the Niners. I think they run the football well. I just think tomorrow night you're going to see a more physical 49ers team on both sides of the ball. I think that's gonna. I think that's gonna be how they do it tomorrow. I think they're a more physical team. I think they're gonna have success defensively in creating turnovers. I think they're gonna run the football down the Chiefs' throat as they should. They need to run Christian McCaffrey right out, right at Chris Jones every play, tire him out. They're not gonna be able to stop McCaffrey. They can't shut McCaffrey down. Run the ball. That should be the key to win the game tomorrow. That should really be like the main focus offensively tomorrow. Run the ball. That's only going to open up things in the passing game. And Brock Purdy, I think, slices and dices tomorrow. Give me the 49ers tomorrow. And again, I went back and forth on this score prediction. I like the Niners to score 30 on the Kansas City Chiefs tomorrow. I'm taking the Niners 34-27 is going to be my final score. I think the Niners win by 7 here. I think Purdy kneels the ball two or three times at the end of the game, and the 49ers are crowned champions. I just think the Niners have more players on this team to make more plays. Um, I think I think they will do that. I think the Niners will have too many players for the Chiefs to stop. I think there's going to be too many players making too many big plays, and I don't think the Chiefs' defense is going to keep up. I think this is the time Kyle Shanahan wins his first Lombardi. I think this is the game where Kyle Shanahan calls a flawless game. I think the defense could struggle tomorrow, but I think in the end they're going to make you know two or three big, big stops, big, big plays to put them over the top. Give me the Niners. 34-27. This morning I woke up and I was set on the score being 28-24. I think it's high scoring. I think it's 34-28. Niners win it. Super Bowl MVP, I think it's Brock Purdy, Christian McCaffrey, or Debo Samuel. Those would be my three. Those would be my three three Super Bowl MVPs if I had to pick. I think Brock Purdy could win it just by playing well, of course, having a pair of touchdowns, maybe 250 plus passing yards. Christian McCaffrey could very well have it just because I could see him running for two or three touchdowns tomorrow. And Debo Samuel could also have it if he has a game like he did against Philly, which to be completely honest, I see Debo absolutely going berserk tomorrow. And I think I think he's going to be too... I think just this Niners offense in general is going to be too much for the Kansas City Chiefs defense. And that's why I think the Niners will score a lot of points. I think the Chiefs will have success in scoring points as well. I don't think our defense plays an absolute flawless game. This game could very well be low scoring. I don't think so, though. I think with two high-powered offenses like Kansas City and San Fran, um, I, I don't see the Niners not scoring a lot of points in this game. They have way too many weapons. Niners take this game. I think the Niners win tomorrow. I really hope I'm right. 34-27, give me the Niners. I think they finally get over the hump. I think we're talking, I think all these these media talk shows are talking about Brock Purdy and how well he performed, and it's time to start respecting him. He's won a Super Bowl. I think the talk with Kyle Shanahan not being able to win the big one, all that bullshit's coming to an end tomorrow. The Niners are going to win Super Bowl 58 in Las Vegas, and I'm, I can't wait. I'm here for it. So let me know what you guys think. Um, of the score prediction let me know your guys score prediction of course in the comment section down below but again man I think the Niners are the more physical team tomorrow I think they've 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 been dreaming of being back here playing the Kansas City Chiefs again the Niners will win this football game tomorrow book it believe it Debo Kittle those guys have been hungry to get back to this moment for four straight years Kittle talking on the sidelines when, when the game in 2020 was lost about how he's going to be back here with the vengeance and that he's, you know, that game's not going to get the best of him. Everything's pointing, everybody can take the Chiefs. That's fine. I got a lot of money on the Niners tomorrow. So I'm very confident that they get the job done. Again, man, I think they do it. I just think something's telling me this is their year. This has been their year all along. They finally have an upgrade at quarterback. They have McCaffrey. They have Charvarius Ward. Their secondary is better than it was. Their defense, all in all, talent-wise, is better. Statistically, not so much as 2020. But here's another thing, too. The Niners haven't played a flawless game in the playoffs. 
Like, they, they haven't played to their full potential whatsoever in the playoffs, and I think that's a good thing. I think tomorrow they lay everything out on the line, and I think they, they're they just the more superior team tomorrow. Again, I don't think there hasn't been a game this playoffs where they've played extremely well. I think tomorrow they get it done. Give me the Niners 34-27. I think they hoist that Lombardi trophy. Obviously, I'm going to be on here tomorrow with an immediate reaction of this game. But we're one win away. We're 24 hours away. Um, I know this video is long, but, I mean, it's the Super Bowl, man. There's a lot to talk about. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's going to be electric. It's going to be fireworks. Um I just think I just think deep down this this has got to be the Niners year. Kyle Shanahan's third Super Bowl, second as a coordinator. The Niners can't lose another Super Bowl, man. I think this team knows this. I think this team is eager. I think this team knows that they are the more superior team and if they just play their freaking game, they will come out victorious. Niners win 34-27. Let me know your guys' obviously score predictions and things like that in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really hope to God I'm coming on here tomorrow on top of the world at a loss for words on, on, on the Niners winning the Super Bowl. We'll see what happens though. The Niners are going to come ready to play tomorrow. That's one thing I do know. Um, so yeah, Super Bowl 58, man, 24 hours away. I'm pumped. I cannot, I can't wait. Um, but yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts and predictions in the comments down below. How the Niners win, your score predictions. Believe it, Niners win in the Super Bowl tomorrow. They have to.